class. Great job reading the article. I think, are there any questions about the article vocabulary? I think we're okay now. Faye, do you, do you understand the article? Yeah. Great, great. Okay, so class, now I want to think about a little grammar. Oh no, grammar, but don't worry, this will be fun. I want to talk about adverb clauses of time. Okay, so again, adverb clauses of time. And also a little bit about adverb clauses, but right now, adverb clauses of time. So, an adverb clause of time starts with a time word. Faye, do you know any time words you could tell me? Any time words? For example, when, okay, once, as soon as, great. So don't worry, I wrote down a few time words that we can use today looking at adverb clauses of time. Okay. So, so Faye, we have here once. Once. Okay, so Faye, can you give me a sentence using okay. once? Once I'm done working. Okay, there we I, go, <laughs> please. I take a rest. There you go, once I'm done working, I take a rest. How about whenever? Whenever I go for a walk, I love it. Whenever I go for a walk, I feel happy too. That's a great one. Okay. How about since? Since I cannot go out because of the snow. Ah, uh, so, okay. Since, or you might want to say, since it's snowing, I, I, it's snowing. snowing, I can't go out. But great, great try there. Thank you. Um, I like that there's a song, Since You've Been Gone. Okay. So that's a fun one to think about. Okay, Aunt Faye, what about here? We have when and while. Can you tell me a sentence using when or while? Once I'm done. Oh, no, no. Well, while I'm done. Let me give you one. When Faye gives me a perfect sentence, I feel great. <laughs> or easier, when I eat ice cream, I get fat. <laughs> okay. So let's push on. By the time. Any by idea? The, by the time I get home. Okay. I'm still hungry. Ah, uh, me too. By the time I get home, I feel, I sometimes feel very, very hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have till or until? Until. <laughs> I finish my. Maybe you could change it around. You could say, I don't feel happy until I finish my homework. Right. And of course, English class, you may have a little bit of homework, maybe a lot of homework. Okay, great. Here we have after. After I take a shower. I feel fresh. There you go. After I take a shower, I feel fresh. Me too. Nice to get in that shower when you, when you can. Okay, how about as soon as? As soon as possible. As soon. Great. Uh, as soon as possible, do your homework. <laughs> there we go. Great job, Faye. And what about before? Before I... I drink water. I love it. Good to drink water before you eat. I, you know, uh, when I eat, I drink water, or while I eat, I drink water. But you know, before you eat, you can drink water too. Okay, great. So, Faye, let's take a look at the article, the culture shock article we just finished, and I want to find some adverb clauses of time. Hey, looking at the first page, do you see an adverb clause of time there? Yes. Can you tell me what it is? After they become familiar with and comfortable in the cultures. Exactly. After they become familiar and comfortable with new cultures. And please note, the adverb clause of time can come in the second part of the sentence. Okay. So, 
or you can put it in the first part. After they've become familiar with and comfortable in new cultures, they are more relaxed. Okay. Now, can you tell me what you're looking at? Could you read that sentence? While individuals experience this stage separately and the impact and order of each stage varies widely. Great, great. Now, class, important here, this is not an adverb clause of time, but is an adverb clause of contrast or difference. Okay, so later we're going to talk about more adverb clauses, but I just wanted to point this out. This adverb clause shows difference. So in future lessons, we will talk more about that. So, hey, uh, on the next page, did you find another adverb clause of time? Once I was finally recovered. There you go. Once I was finally recovered, I went out to eat. Okay, so great. And you're pointing at another one there. Could you tell me which where one? I, where I grew up in Germany. Great. Very understandable. You're thinking uh, that's, that's a question word, where. Okay. Now, this is not an adverb clause of time, but is an adverb clause of time. Place. So in future lessons, we'll talk more about that. Faye, I think you lived in Germany? Yes, a few months only. A few months. Where did you live in Germany? In Frankfurt. You lived in Frankfurt. What was Frankfurt like? It was a very nice place. Okay, so you could say where I lived in Germany. It was a very, very nice, nice place. place. Bingo. You got it. Great. Okay, now let's go to the next page. I think we'll see one or two more adverb clauses of time. Hey, can you tell me what you're finding there? When I moved from California to North Carolina. Then I moved from one place to another. Okay, so there we have another adverb clause of time. And I think we have one more on the last page, Faye? Yes, when I feel homesick. Right, homesick. And that's part of this lesson with culture shock, with being homesick. Faye, do you feel homesick? Of course, when I feel homesick, I call my family. You call your family. Okay, great. Can you call your family once a week? Or, or I can call them every day. You call... Oh, that's so nice. So you can call your family every day. You're less homesick. Okay, class, great job. Now, we're going to continue on, but I wanted to just do this brief grammar point, okay? So let's continue on.